cleaning her room. Number one, these are five pound each. That's a fortune in that drawer. Number two, so bad for your health. And number three, bad for the environment. Hey, bro, you want a drink with that? Yeah, yeah, let me I just, um, let me just hit my vape real quick. Hold on, where's, where's You gotta that? vape before you eat and where's drink? Where's my vape at, bro? Like, you can't do bro, it bro, where's without? Where's my vape at? Huh? Um, yeah, I, uh, I use my vape when I'm asleep. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <sighs> Sometimes even when I'm walking my dog. Hey, dog, stop, stop. Helps me, oh, here it is. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need your house flipped upside down for whatever reason, hide a vapor's vape and see what happens. That nicotine, yeah, it gets them crazy. This is a PSA for both teenagers and parents. So please stick around because this will be very informative when it comes to saving your teen's life and or your own life if you are a vapor. Over the past few years, vaping has skyrocketed in popularity. What started as a tool to help smokers quit has now become a trend among teenagers. So I'll be telling y'all why vaping is so appealing as well as the dangers that come with vaping. The first thing you need to know is vaping products come in all shapes, forms, sizes, and flavors. From fruity to dessert-like flavors, these products are designed to attract younger users. And although they may look like Crayola pens, they may look harmless, as well as they may look fun, but the truth is so far from it. One of the biggest issues with vaping is how easily accessible it is to teenagers. Now, despite the laws and regulations that are in place, many underage users can still get their hands on these products. Online stores may require an age verification, but it's often easy to bypass. And in some cases, teenagers can buy these products directly from their friends and or social media. Now let's talk about the health risk of vaping. It is often marketed as a safer alternative to smoking, but do not be deceived because that does not mean that it is safe. Vaping exposes users to harmful chemicals like nicotine, which is highly addictive and other toxic substances are in it as well. Now, before we get into nicotine, let's dive into people's stories. I want to share my story. Um, I just got back from being in the hospital for four and a half days. She had a collapsed lung as your sign to stop vaping. That could be a risk factor for having a little bleb on your lung pop and causing your lung to deflate, needing a chest tube and even surgery. This is an elf bar, a legitimate elf bar. Not that that really matters. Uh, yeah, don't junkie puff your shit, folks. If it tastes like it's almost out of juice, get a new one. Don't keep using it because you're going to end up inhaling plastic, literal, like smoking plastic. This is not a fucking joke. <laughs> Although it's believed that vaping is safer than smoking regular cigarettes, it is still not safe to do. This previously healthy young woman developed a fungal pneumonia after chronic vaping. And a normal chest x-ray like this, where the lungs are normally black because there's a lot of air in them, turned completely white for her. There are a lot of unknowns with vaping because there's so many substances in the vape liquid that we just don't know anything about. So be healthy, be alive, and don't vape. If you're still vaping, stop. And I'm not saying stop because, oh, I'm better than you, I you quit vaping. Stop vaping because it's really unhealthy. But if you do stop vaping, right? Follow me, let me cook. There's something nobody told you about. You get constipated. So bad. I've, I don't think I've pooped in three days. And you know, it's really inconvenient. I'm just sitting here trying to make it come out. So, I've been in here for five, six minutes. And if you think I'm lying, go look it up. Nicotine gets into your tummy and it helps digestion. It doesn't help it. Your body just becomes accustomed to it. And so now your body has to relearn how to digestion and everything else. Okay, so this is gonna be way outside of my normal content, but probably the most important post I will ever make in my lifetime. So I started vaping when I was in high school. I was way too young. If you look at me now, I'm 21 years old and I still look like a child. I wish more than anything that those adults would have asked for my ID rather than just selling to me because I was young and dumb. So I'm 22 years old. I'm about five to six years deep in vaping. Over the last several months, I've noticed like shortness of breath, uh, rapid heartbeats, nausea all the time. Um, and recently I've started coughing up blood and like little specks. 
So I'm currently at the doctor waiting to go in, but I just wanted to make an educational video on why you shouldn't vape and how quickly it affects you. So your lungs can be permanently damaged from vaping after only three days. Mind you, I'm five to six years in. So there's something that's typically put in flavored vapes um, that cause popcorn lungs, which is gonna be like scar tissue in your little airways that causes your breathing to get worse and worse until you just can't breathe anymore. I've heard a lot that smoking cigarettes is worse for you, but I'm gonna disagree with that. They are both equally bad, can cause cancer, and honestly, vaping causes permanent, undoable damage. Typically, if you're smoking cigarettes, you quit, your lungs have time to fully heal. The only problem is that you still have the chance of getting cancer just because you've been smoking. But y'all, only three days and you can already cause permanent damage to your lungs. Again, this is informational. I started vaping because I thought it was cool because I was hanging out with older kids who were vaping. It is not cool. That first hit I took, I got a buzz and then I, I liked it. I wanted more of it. I literally can't talk to a person without having it in my hand. It's more like a stress thing at this point and also a habit. I'm literally driving down the road and constantly have it in my hand. The second I lose it, I freak out. Also, after I started vaping, um, I noticed that I wasn't as hungry, so I was starting to lose a little bit of weight. Over the next several years, until I was almost 21, um, I have had an eating disorder on and off. I would use nicotine and coffee in place of meals. That's just a side effect of nicotine in general. Um, it'll kill your appetite. For me, I was a young girl, so it was easy for me to like the way I was losing weight. Anyways, like I said, I'm five to six years in and it has literally been hell trying to quit. I have tried several times and it's just, it's hard. So every time I've hit my vape, I literally feel disgusted with myself, but I cannot quit. I'm not saying it's impossible for everyone, but it is so much easier to just never touch it than to have to try to get off of it. Okay, so the doctor's appointment did not go good. I am now at the ER for scans. We're all sorry, it's a popcorn lung. It's, it's okay. okay. We got that too. Are, have you noticed that your voice has gotten deeper? Oh my god! Like not you specifically, but I'm saying our voices. Like we look back on videos like two years ago. Oh and my it's god! Like, Holy sh! My voice is dark. Like, when I deep. hear a video of like <laughs> me and my first like three four years of YouTube, I literally sound like 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 this, I and I'm like, Hey guys, I cigarette know. mom here. Good like morning. it's bad. It's so bad. It's bad. I need to stop vaping. I was gonna say you should you should have done it for the seventy five. You need advice. I know. I just here's the thing, and I don't care how fucking mentally unhealthy this sounds. I, know. I need something. One of the worst side effects of vaping is experienced when you try and quit. You say you're gonna quit and you don't. You say you're going to quit tomorrow and you don't. You say you're going to quit next week and you don't. Your words start to lose value. The things you say to yourself start to hold no value. This is one of the worst side effects of vaping. And I believe this creates a subconscious rot that's most likely spilling into other aspects of your life. You say you're going to do something and you don't. You say you're going to do something and then you determine you can't. You're not capable of. This is the mindset that addiction creates, particularly to nicotine. This is what makes nicotine addiction so dangerous. Your words hold no value if you can't even keep your word to yourself. My life with a vaping-induced illness. Ever since I got pneumonitis from vaping, this is my life. I have to use a wheelchair when I go long distances because I get so winded and taking those deep breaths really hurts my lungs. I have to wear this elf air filter mask because if I'm exposed to any strong chemical smells or even the smell of smoke or cigarettes, not the smoke, even the smell can agitate my lungs and cause my lung tissue to swell for weeks at a time. There is no cure for pneumonitis. I will have this for the rest of my life, but I will never stop warning the public about how dangerous it is to vape. My life will never be the same. And there you have it. So hopefully teenagers are watching this and or the parents of teenagers are watching this. So back to nicotine. Nicotine can affect the brain development of teenagers leading to addiction and potentially increasing the risk of them wanting other tobacco products. And unfortunately, that's not all. There's also a risk of a serious condition known as popcorn lung. 
popcorn lung or bronchiolitis, this right here, because my accent will not let me rest, is a condition that damages the small airways in your lungs. It got its name from workers in microwave popcorn factories who developed the condition after being exposed to this name right here, which is a chemical used for flavoring. Now, some vaping liquids contain this word right here, despite it being banned in traditional cigarettes. When inhaled, it can cause scarring in the lungs, leading to coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. And these symptoms can be severe and irreversible. So if your teenager is wheezing and coughing and showing signs of shortness of breath, please seek the help before it is too late. It may be too late, but hey, at least they're gonna get the help at the ER or something. So the first key of things is education and awareness. This one is for the parents. Please talk to your kids about the dangers of vaping and teenagers need to be more informed as well as make healthier choices. If you have a vaping story or anything else that I may have missed in this video, please leave a comment down below so that we can check it out and it can help the next person that may run across your comment. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.